All right, so let's have a little bit of a difficult conversation about kill traps. Um, this year, I ran into a very serious problem with squirrels. They're all over the place. I now live in suburbia. There's squirrels everywhere feeding on bird feeders and gardens and everything else. And when I first started getting my front yard container garden together, I had squirrels digging up every single pot. And a lot of people have problems with that. It's a typical issue. It got so bad that I went ahead and purchased this trap. Now this is a tube kill trap for squirrels. And um, it is effective, but it is brutal <laughs> to set it up. It actually takes a lot of strength to pull this back. You pull it back, you set it, and inside there's a little, little bar that you would put your bait on. And of course, when the squirrel presses it down, this snaps up and kills them very quickly. And by very quickly, I mean may cut them into several pieces. <laughs> so um, I laugh and cringe. Uh, I laugh for the cringe because it is intensely powerful. I mean, this thing would kill a bear if a bear could fit in this tube. It's, uh, but it's, it is effective and it does the job. So um, it's not for the faint of heart, but if you have a very, very squirrel problem, um, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Now, when you first get it, it will be bare metal. I suggest you get yourself some good old Rust-Oleum primer um, and maybe even spray paint this green if you want to or camouflage. I've seen some people do that. But even just covering it with a basic primer to prevent rust, that would be best. You can actually see where it rusted slightly in the day that I had it <laughs> before I could actually get this, this Rust-Oleum on it. But um, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to provide a link in the description below um, on where you can get this, as well as the primer, just for completeness sake. And I'd definitely check it out. Um, this is from Forestry Products, and it's, uh, it's highly recommended. Now, why would you want to use a kill trap? Well, I mean, in my place, people always talk, when I show videos about traps, and they are kill traps, people get very upset and they're like, well, why don't you just catch it and relocate it? Well, there's a couple problems with that. One, it's legal to do that where I am. You cannot catch what you cannot trap wildlife and re-release it elsewhere. It's against the law. And so if you catch something, you got to kill it. Um, but also squirrels are incredibly intelligent and they won't fall for the same trap twice. So if you trap a squirrel and you try to just move it somewhere, it could come back and it will never fall for the same trap again. It, it knows better. So basically, when a squirrel gets into a trap, they need to only ever experience that trap once, you know, and never have an opportunity in their tiny little fuzzy lives to see that kind of trap again. So it's a brutal reality. Now, if you can get away with not killing your squirrels, like uh, providing another food source for them or otherwise distract them from what they're causing damage to or put some kind of structure that they won't be able to get into. If you're able to do all that sort of stuff, that's great. Um, but if worse comes to worse and you need to just deal with the problem in the most final manner possible, uh, I recommend this trap. So definitely check it out. Um, do some research on it. See if it's, uh, there's a lot more videos about this on YouTube and a lot of sites about it. And I'll try to post some links as well in the description below. But, um, you know, I just want to put it out there so you're aware that it exists and know that it is effective. So in any case, uh, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with other people that you think might need this trap. I'd love to hear your thoughts below, positive, negative, or otherwise. And um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do have to deal with vermin every now and again, so I talk a little bit about traps now and again. Um, I'll probably be doing some more live traps in the future because I feel like I'm always talking about critter death. So maybe something a little bit more gentle would be good. But in any case, thank you so much for watching, and as always, thank you for joining me on this journey.